Teeth Witch! My name is Una and I'm here from theharpteacher.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Francis Power hands together. If you're a visual learner and you want to use notes, you can go to theharpteacher.com and there you'll find sheet music which has the fingering written above the notes and then also the letter names written above that. So even if you don't read sheet music, you might find that useful. Anyway, let's get started on this glorious journey of getting your hands together. I'm presuming that you know your right hand and your left hand really well by now. Okay, right? Do you? Do you? Do you really? <laughs> I'm sure you do. So off we go. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're in the proper key. So Francis Power is in key G major, therefore we need every F string to actually sound like F sharp. So if you have levers on your harp, you have a really easy job. Go to your F string, go to the top of it, find the lever and put it up. F string, lever, F string, lever, F string, lever. Okay. If you have a tune, if you have a harp without levers, then you are going to do something different. Get your tuning key, go to the top of your F string, and then retune it from F to F sharp. Next F string, tune, retune it from F to F sharp. Next F string, retune it from F to F sharp. Next string, F to F sharp. And you're done. Tell two way. Let's latch into it. So now we're going to start. Do 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 do. Part. One hand together. This is what it sounds like. Indo treat together. right hand ready on DG, left hand ready on G. You're going to play the two G's together. So you play your thumb in the right hand and your two in the left hand. Can you see that there? There we go. And you're going to play them together. Ready? Go. Together. Now, your right hand just does its thing for another two notes. Replace the thumb on the G and go D, G. Like a shiné. Phrase one done. So how does phrase two go? Let's hear it. And the tree, A, B, together, D, A. So now let's break it down. Phrase two. Put your right hand on A, B, C, put your left hand on C. And you're going to play right hand A, B. Then you're going to replace your right hand 2, 3 on the B, A. Remember the walrus? And now you're going to place thumb on right hand with 2 on left hand, C with C. Together, B, A. And that's how you do it. Not easy. So let's try these two bad boys, phrase one and two together. Okay, so we're going to put two in our G in the left hand, one and two on GD in the right hand. In the treat. And now we are going to try phrase three. So have a listen. Indo, together. So here's phrase three tutorial. So you're going to start off with right hand two on your G, left hand two on your D. Okay, and you play the right hand two in its own. G. Then get ready with the right hand G at B D. And you're going to put the left hand two with the right hand thumb on the G. So together, And now you should be ready with your thumb on the right hand thumb on the B F, crossing under with your two on the G, and your left hand is going to get ready on the D again. So you're going to do the right hand thumb on F with your left hand two on D. Together, and then continue with your right hand. So now we're going to try phrase hain do tree. One, two, three, all together. Hain do tree together. D, G, A, B together. D, A, G, 
you want to do that with me? Fair play. Means good job. So let's try phrase four. It sounds like this. Indo trip together. Figure it out. So you have right hand ready on B A G. Your left hand is going to get ready on the G. You're going to play the right hand thumb on the B with your left hand two on the G. Ready, go together. Now you simply continue with your right hand, okay? A G B C D. Watch out. When you get to the thumb and the E, get your left hand ready on the C. Get your right hand three ready in the A as well, okay? Because you need to get to that quickly after. And you're going to play the right hand or thumb with the, on the E with the left hand two on the C. Together. Now play your right hand A, A. Like it's your name. You just did across the car. It's very cool. So this is what phrase five sounds like. Aim the tree. G together. What you're going to do is you're going to put your right hand 2 on G, your left hand 2 on D. You're going to play the right hand G on its own first. Then you're going to put your right hand ready on 1, 2, 3, 4, G, F, E, D. And you're going to play that right hand thumb on the G with the left hand 2 on the D. Together. Now you're going to play right hand on its own for a few notes. that thumb on the G, get your left hand ready on the D, play the G with the C. Together. Now put right hand 2 on G, play that G in its own. And now get your right hand 2 on G again, and put your left hand on G, and play these two Gs on their own, together. Look at your name, that is how you play phrase 5. So now we're going to try playing the 4th and 5th phrase, okay? So here goes. So you've got right hand on B A G, left hand on G, A and O G together, A G B C D together, A A G together, F E G F together, G G. Nice. So by now, hopefully you've taken the phrase Hain Do Tri Karakui, put them all together, and you can play the entire first part of hands together. When you're able to do that, how about we proceed to the second part of hands together. So let's hear what part two sounds like, hands together. Okay. Hain Do Tri Together, B, C, D, D, B, C, D, together. right hand ready on DV. Your left hand is going to get ready on G. And it's very easy actually. You're going to play your right hand thumb with your left hand two. Ready, go, together. And then you just continue with your right hand as normal. B, C, D, D, B, C, D. Look at your name. So what does phrase two sound like? So, in the tree.
cut it into phase one actually. So you're just going to get your right hand ready on GB, your left hand ready on G again, and you're going to play two twos on G's together. It couldn't be simpler. So are you ready? Play your two twos, the G and the G together. G. Now your left hand goes on holiday and your right hand plays as normal. So now how we try Tross the King of his Tross is Oak, Larry the Kayla. There's one and two together. So get ready in your DB and your left hand on the G. Ains O tree. Together, D, 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 B, C, D. So here is phrase three. Okay, so you're gonna get ready on E and C, right hand on right left hand on C, in the tree, together, C D E, E, C D So this is how you play phrase three. So you get your right hand ready on E C, you get your left hand ready on C. And you're gonna play your right hand thumb on the E with the left hand too on C. Together now just play your right hand as normal. C D E E C D E and it's an A. So here's phrase four. You can get your right hand on E A C, left hand on D, and go together. I'll count in, sorry, in the tree. Together C A A C A and it's an A. So how do you play that? So Get your right hand ready on the A, C, two is on A, one's on C, left hand is on D, and you're going to play the right hand two on A with the left hand two on D. Together, and then you just simply continue playing the right hand as normal. C, A, A, C, A, and that's it. So now how we try phrase paint no tree cat all together. Okay, so your right hand is ready on the D B, your left hand is ready on the G. Aim the tree. Together C C D D D C D do that absolutely brilliant if you didn't it's still absolutely brilliant well done for trying now just rewind and give it a go so let's hear phrase five one two three extra note there that you didn't expect or that I didn't expect either <laughs> so now let's try phrase five tutorial okay so we have to get our right hand ready on B C D E our left hand has to get ready on G now the first thing you can do is play the right hand four C C D D D here with the left hand do okay so let's try that together that could be quite difficult if you can't do that that's no problem go at it another few times if you're really stuck Get a friend or your mom or your dad, your little brother or sister, to hold the other strings, uh, fingers on the string. Okay, so get your friend, whoever it is, to actually hold three, two, and one all together, and then you have to play four with two. Okay, so we're gonna try that now. So the right hand four on B with the left hand two on G together. Now your right hand plays C and D. E, D. Then it crosses under and puts two on the F. And then your left hand gets ready with your C. And you're gonna play thumb right hand with left hand two. Together. Now put the right hand thumb ready on G. And now you're going to go F. And then you're gonna put three in your F. G. And now put two and one ready on G, A. And then your left hand gets ready on D. So your right hand three is gonna play with the left hand two on D. Okay, together, 
that might be difficult for you. If it is, do the same trick as before. Get your buddy to hold the two and one on the strings like super glue, okay? So try your D and your F together. Together, G. Now put your right hand three on D. A. Put your right hand E. And thumb on E. D. Put your right hand two, three on C, B. E, C. And now put your left hand two on G. And you're gonna play the right hand three with the left hand two. Together. That should be easy enough because there's the only strings left on the, the only fingers left on the strings. Together. That's a bit of a beast. It's a bit hard, okay? So be nice to yourself. Make up a little treat for yourself right now that you're gonna get when you finish this. It could be a walk in the park. It could be going on the swings in the playground. It could be getting yourself a cup of tea. It could be a glass of wine. It could be whatever is appropriate for you and your age. <laughs> but the important thing is that you might need to organize a little treat for yourself to get after this part has been played together. Can I relax? So now let's try phrase six. So you're gonna put one and four on A, G and left hand goes on to the D lying in wait and you're gonna go Ando tree, A, G together, B, C, Let's try phrase six. Now, how do we do this? Put your right hand thumb on A4 on G. Left hand is going to be on your D, lying in wait as I said in the demo. So you're going to play your right hand thumb first, A, then you put your three, two, one ready on A, B, C, and you go G, and now you're going to play the right hand three with the left hand two together, and then your right hand plays B, your right hand gets ready with the three and the F, play your C, C gets ready with the two and the G. F left hand comes in and gets ready on the C. And you're gonna play right hand G with left hand C. Together. Then the right hand plays another G in its own. G. And then the left hand comes in and gets ready on the G. And your last note is the right hand playing G, the left hand playing G all at the same time. Together. And that is how we play phrase two. Let's try phrase five and six together. Beauty and the beast, you could say, except it's the beast and beauty. <laughs> right, oh, that would be a really good reward. If you manage to learn Francis Power, you get to watch Beauty and the Beast. I think I might be making that reward up for myself, but anyway. So, put the right hand ready on B, C, D, E, left hand gets on to G, okay? And you're going to do right hand four with the G to start. In do three. difficult actually so you need to go over that a good few times if you don't think it's horrendously difficult that's wonderful learn it move on but if you are like I would imagine because I did find it horrendously difficult um, then uh, yeah be nice to yourself and just try 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 have a nice reward in place and then get the whole second five times together Ooh, I'm excited. Fair play to you. If you have gotten to this point, you're after watching through the whole load of tutorials and demos, and hopefully you've been learning at the same time. If you have it up to a fantastic standard, I am so happy and so proud of you. Well done. If it's not quite there yet, that is okay. That's fine. Life is a work in progress. Go back, do another bit of work on it. And when it's fantastic, go to theheartteacher.com and you can find your next piece. Very exciting. Salam. So